We are all lovers of Tua Tungavailoa, but nothing is impossible. If you are a fan of Miami Dolphins then think, Dolphins's future is the only. There is no, star, more important than your team. Chris Greer said that Tua Tungavailoa will be the starter in 2021 and Brian Flores said that he likes the direction and growth that the young QB has shown but what if that is all lip speak and they really don't like what they have seen? This is all just a hypothetical because I do believe they like what they have seen and there is a lot of room to develop and grow. With all the negative talk out there and the Deshaun Watson continued debate, it got me thinking, which I know is dangerous. What if the Dolphins trade Tua Tungavailoa for more pick? For starters, they need to reevaluate their entire scouting department because drafting him would be an incredible blunder that will be another black eye on the franchise's draft woes. Second, it would say a lot about the abilities of the coaches to do their job. I would also start to think that Chris, that Chris Greer may need to be replaced. On the other side of that coin, would anyone really be upset if Tungavailoa was part of a trade deal that sent him to the Texans for Watson? I have been vocal in my non-support of such a move simply because the price to make the trade is far more than I would want to spend. Tossing a first-round pick or two plus Tua would make sense and the uncount you have in Tua would be replaced with a known, top-caliber QB with a proven track record. It's tough to argue this right now because we have no idea how much of this is driven solely by speculation and what is not. Watson has to first request a trade before anything will happen and while he controls his own destination by force of will, the Texans control what they believe is the compensatory value. Tungavailoa went from being the top college prospect to a generational talent to a first overall pick to a top five despite his injury, to now being an afterthought because of Watson. Somehow in all of this, the Dolphins who loved what they saw in Tua, no longer find him all that appealing. After nine games mind you. Still, you have to wonder if Miami didn't like what they have seen, then they probably should move on sooner rather than later. I just can't see that being the case even though it is something we all might have to at least entertain in the far reaches of our brain.